So today I'm going to be cleaning some of, some of my gold jewelry, um, which includes my wedding ring and my other jewelry. And these are the ones that I actually wear regularly. So these ones I wear to work, wear to go out. I have my anklet in there and those are the ones that I actually don't take off at all. I also have the chain that I don't take off at all and you know what, I just remembered that the hearing I'm currently wearing, I'd like to clean that as well. So they are looking brownish right now, you know, because I've been wearing them for a while and they need cleaning. So I just wanted to like show you guys how I clean my gold jewelry. So I just turned on the water in the kettle, so I'm going to allow it to boil for a while over there I have the little brush that I'm gonna be using I also have baking powder if you have baking soda it's fine as well but I ran out so I'm gonna be using baking powder today and on this place it's actually my um, heat baking soap so you can use a dishwashing soap or something that is less um, I mean don't, don't use washing detergent I think I mean, I, I, I just prefer to use something like a mild soap, like a dishwashing soap or a soap that doesn't have too much chemical. So my kids' baking soap, uh, or, I mean, has all natural ingredients. So that's what I'm going to be using to wash it. So in here, I'm going to be, I'll wait for the water to boil and I'll add it in with the baking soda and I'll let it stay for like about 20 minutes. Then I'll start washing. So I'm waiting for the water to boil. All right, so the water is boiling now. I just, you know, poured out the the jewelries. I took them all out. So I'm going to be pouring the water here in the cup. I'll add some baking powder like so. And I'm going to be adding like just one teaspoon-ish. Then I'll dump the jerrys all in. See, it's foamy. Dumping it all in. Let me add more water. So I'll let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. I'll just cover it like so. And I'll be back to check it out. I'll wash. All right. So it's been in there for like 10 minutes now. So the foam is gone. I'm just gonna pick them up piece by piece and begin to wash with this soft brush. Oops. With this soft brush, I'm just gonna start to wash it piece by piece and with the soap at the sink top. So starting with whatever comes first. This is um, my son's name pendant. So I'm just gonna uh, wash it. The next piece is this chain. I'm gonna take that out as well. Uh, this one I don't wear every day, but I've been wearing it for a while without washing. So this is it. Take some soap, and scrub, scrub, scrub. Be careful if you have tiny pieces of um, jewelry, don't wash too close to the sink because you might drop it and seriously, you don't want to do, you don't want to do that. So be very, very careful when you're washing close to the sink so you don't drop any of your pieces, especially the tiny light ones. So I'm just washing, washing, washing. <laughs> you 
ignore the comb the tail comb i'm actually using the tail to bring them out that's why i have the tail comb there it's not necessary <laughs> like if you have something else you can use to bring out the gold from the water that's fine i just don't want to dip my hand in it because it's still like partially hot that's why i'm um using the tail comb to bring out the pieces one after the other so yeah done washing this one This is another sh chain that I don't always wear, but I haven't washed it in a very long time, so just washing it to make it shiny. And I've worn it like a couple of times. I don't mean that when you have your gold sitting in your closet and you just have to wash it, but I mean if you've worn it like a couple of times, then you use perfume, you use body lotion, you go out, you get dust and all of that. That's when it requires washing. So if you have your gold jewelry that you don't wear, or a gold bar, maybe it doesn't need washing. If you don't, I mean, if it's not dirty, right? So you know how gold behaves. Like the more you wear it, the then it begins to look brown. So this is just something. This is how to clean it so the brownness can go and it can be. Um, um, shiny so right now I think I've, I've picked out all the chains all I have left is my earrings and um, my pendant so I can pick them out of the water I'm just gonna drain the water out so first I'm gonna pick my my wedding ring so I have all my rings joined together so right now I usually take it to the jeweler to clean but because of the COVID-19 um, situation they only accept like emergency issues like if I lost a diamond or something so if I take it for cleaning I'm not sure they'll clean it for me so that's why I'm doing this myself as well and since, since I can why not So I forgot to mention, I used baking powder, right? So if you are using baking soda, you will probably need less. You know, baking powder is less stronger than baking soda. So baking soda is stronger, right? So you would need less, maybe like, depending on how much you have to clean though. So for this much, you know, um, like about half, half teaspoon of um, baking soda would have been perfect. But with baking powder, I used one teaspoon so depending on how much you have to wash you know you probably need even way less than that so just try to eyeball it So yeah, that's done. So the next part is to, you know, get clean water and rinse them out. I'm done with this soap. I'm just gonna wipe it out. gonna dump it all in the clean water <laughs> Ooh, see what I was saying I almost lost it trust me I would have broken the sink so I flipped the paper towel to the other side and now I'm just gonna rinse them I think you need some more water so what I'm gonna do is I'll dump this water again and fill it up with more with another So, all right like so I think we're good now we can start bringing it out piece by piece so here's my ring it looks way way better you can see 
it looks shinier now and cleaner too. I love, love, love it. All right, so the next step is to dry them up. So I'm going to be using this little white towel to dry them up piece by piece, and I'll drop them into this little jewelry box. I'm just gonna set that here. First, starting with this bracelet, just gonna clean it up. This is my everyday chain. I can never take it off. But it was getting dull, so it was just about time. I mean, that's why the fact that I bathe with it every day, it doesn't matter, like it was still dull. So, you know, initially I used to think that because I bathe with a piece of jewelry, it's gonna make it like super shiny because I bathe with it every day, but I was wrong. I still had to do some cleaning, so now it looks very, very different, like very, very different. That's all. This is everything that I just cleaned and trust me, I'm going to take some pictures and make sure that you can see well, you know. They are super different and cleaner and shinier compared to before I washed it. So yeah, I'm so happy actually about my ring. Yeah, you can use it to wash any kind of stone as well the same way. So yeah, that's all. Just I was gonna wash my jewelries and my gold jewelries, and I thought I should you know come share with you. How I wash them and FYI these are real gold so I don't you, you, you can't do this to like accessories that are not gold so I don't know if you can add baking powder or soda to accessories that are not gold and I don't know if you can put any one of them in hot water so yeah that's all and um, thank you for washing with me and um, bye for now peace <laughs>